it is 3.31 and I am trying to get my fingerprints done before 4 p.m. Today I learned uh, I need fingerprints done before I can start clinicals. That makes sense, you know. I'm familiar with this process, even the company they're going through, because it's what we did for foster care. And I knew you looked online and they told you locations that had just very specific hours. Because it's not really a fingerprint building, it's the people that do the fingerprints show up in different places. Like I'm going to a hospital local to me to get fingerprints. And so, like the fingerprint people don't have physical locations dedicated to their place. They just go to different places. Anyways, I knew I needed to get that done. I was familiar with it. I looked it up. Currently, you can get fingerprints done on Tuesdays between 1 and 4 p.m., 20 minutes away from me. If I cannot do Tuesdays between 1 and 4 p.m., 20 minutes away from me, then I need to drive like an hour away. Well, this Tuesday, today, right now, I have free. Just saw all that though. All the following Tuesdays, I'm in St. Louis with speech appointments for Raylan. So, I was like, if I get there now, it will save me a whole lot of driving because I won't have to find a different location. So, that's what I'm doing. I will probably get there just a little bit of time to spare is okay. It doesn't take them that long to do fingerprints. I don't think they'll mind me coming in like right before they close. Hopefully I get to that spot and find the right spot right before they close. So yeah, fingerprints. For clinicals, I also need to do 10 panel drug urine screening, uh, get my doctor to sign a note. Like literally it just says something like, Abby Huff is healthy enough to do clinicals. It doesn't even say like what healthy enough means. There's no, there's no information about my physical health or information about what I would be able to do. Like, <clears throat> like they don't say is able to lift so much weight or anything. They're just like is healthy enough to do clinicals. I thought that was funny, but um, I need to get that signed by my doctor. Drug screening. I don't need to give them my complete vaccine record, but I do need to get blood work and then they look at do you have the antibodies for things like hepatitis B and measles and stuff like that. So even if I don't have records of the vaccines, hopefully the vaccines have helped me build antibodies. That's what they want anyways. They don't want your records. They want the proof that you have antibodies. So I get to give some blood and find out if I've built up antibodies to all these things that I've always assumed I have. Um, pretty sure I've had all those vaccines. I have to get the flu vaccine. That's fine. I've gotten it before. I've never had any problems with it. But right now, like I said, I am rushing to the fingerprint place and hoping to get there before they close. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drive an hour away to get fingerprints some other day. What else did they tell me I needed to do? Oh, I need to order my scrubs and my stethoscope. I got that done. They told me textbooks I needed to order. I'm a little frustrated. Somehow I had in my head that textbooks were included with the tuition. It could be that my academic or um, that my enrollment advisor told me wrong because she did steer me wrong on some stuff about club tests. I think I'm probably just confusing information from Portage because you don't have to buy textbooks for Portage. It's included. But I was like, oh, that's going to be, that's going to be expensive. Nursing textbooks are expensive. So I, I spent some time looking into that. And uh, I'll do a review maybe on my nursing textbooks because I'm supposed to buy a fifth edition of one of them. I saw the fourth edition like really cheap. I bought the fourth edition. We're going to take a gamble. I, I doubt it's that much different. If you've ever read anything about college textbooks, they purposely make new editions so that people have to keep buying new copies of the book. They're way outrageously priced. I, I highly doubt they change that much. And I, I don't like that they make new editions basically just to make new money. It's not, it's not about having new information. It's literally so they get more money. So I 
looking for those books. I think I found two of them. Like I said, I need to buy two, and then in the next week they'll show us a whole lot more we need to buy. You know how to buy them online, but I just think I'm gonna buy used copies. I want to get the cheapest copies possible. What else did I learn? I need to do so many things. I had two hour-long meetings on Zoom. Well, they were. I was supposed to dedicate an hour. The first one I think was 40 minutes. The second one might have been an hour. Gotta get fingerprints. Gotta get blood tests. Gotta get a physical. Gotta get a drug screen. Gotta buy some books. Gotta buy some scrubs and a stethoscope. Did that. I think maybe that's it. I feel better now that I've said it all. It seemed like an impossible list. Um, I have my physical scheduled for Friday. Anyways, we'll see. Hopefully I beat the clock to get to hospital. It's 3.38. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Made it there in time. Got my fingerprints, got my receipt proof of it. They sent it to the university. So glad I looked and got that done today. That saved me like, my goodness. That saved me probably an hour and a half by getting it done today. I just stepped in something gross. Um, instead of having to drive like an hour or some other day. So now I'm gonna celebrate with some McDonald's. Yum. I use the McDonald's app because it's quicker than the drive-thru. They still bring your food to you and the McDonald's app has discounts on it usually that sometimes are pretty good. So waiting for some food and then I'm gonna go home and tackle a microbiology virus exam I think. I really don't want to. I have a headache. I really don't want to, but I need to. I will feel better if I get that done. My to-do list is really long right now. I marked off fingerprints. I'd feel even better if I could mark off microbiology. Oh, and I marked off, I requested my CLEP voucher through Modern States so I can go CLEP out of human growth and development. Once I get that voucher, I'm going to schedule that for December 14th. I'm really hoping that that doesn't take much studying because I don't have much time to do studying. I've done some practice questions for it and to be honest, like a lot of it's familiar. So I'm going to study like a couple hours for it and that's it. And if I don't pass it, I can take it on Portage. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Oh. Um, if I don't pass it, I can take it on Portage. Since it's my fifth class on Portage, they actually will like reduce the price of the fifth one. It's not a whole lot of money, but I'd rather just clip it. Hopefully I pass, but I have that safety net that I can take it on Portage if I don't pass which means I'm just really tempted to not study too much, study enough that I think I can pass. Because if I don't, I have a backup plan B. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat, then I'm gonna do microbiology. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it.